All right, guys, a couple of different things here. A um, couple of different filters. This is what I call an F4, which is the most common filter. You'd find this at the tank. Okay, this would back off. You change the cartridge. This one's a screw on, GABA type. This one here is a, a 99, which is kind of a, a rare. It's a big cartridge. They do make a, a general, which is a smaller one, which is very common also. I just don't have one here. But basically, um, you know, these filters would be at the tank if you're coming off the bottom of the tank. You would, uh, you would have the filter and you have a fire at the tank. Basically, it's got a fusible link that would melt in case of a fire and shut off. There's an arrow on this fire I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can. There's definitely an arrow. There's a, there's a certain way this is going to go. But I'm talking about the two-pipe system. So um, if you're going to do a two-pipe system, which we're talking about, a single pipe would just go through the filter. And it would be a protected oil line, obviously. You'd have something that's got a coating on it like this. And then it would go over to the burner through another fire But on the two-pipe system, they got what they call a duplex fitting. You could look at this. It's got two tappings on the top, which are uh, three-eighths, okay? Then on the bottom, it's got one three-eight tapping. And this is two-inch. This would go in the top of the tank. So what you would do on that is you'd come out the top of the tank through a fire matic, okay, through a filter to the burner to the burner supply. On the return on the burner, or, excuse me, on a supply, this dip tube would go down into the bottom of the tank. I like to put a check valve on mine. There's a flow on there. See this this check valve? This is a check valve. Firematic check valve. So I'd put this in the bottom of the tank, probably like three, four inches off the bottom of the tank, so it's always pumping clean oil. And I'd put a um, half by three eight copper. Um, male adapter there and here and I solder a piece of half inch copper in here so when you screw this in it's probably four inches off the bottom always sucking clean oil off the you know there's four inches so you could get the schmag so once this once this pump pulls this prime it won't lose the prime because you got the check valve okay and then the return would just come back in the top here and just dump in the top of the tank that doesn't have to go down all the way that's what you call a duplex fitting That's a duplex fitting that goes right in the top of the tank. Now, if you're pulling oil off the top of the tank like that, you don't have to change the filters that often because they usually don't get as dirty. But that's the deal with that. There's, an o there's also an OSV valve. Um, in my state, if the oil line is in contact with the concrete, you've got to put an oil safety valve. And what that does is the pump has to pull a good vacuum for that oil safety valve to open to let the oil through. If not, um, what could happen is if that line coming from the tank to the burner rots away in the ground, you could dump all the oil out of the tank. So that's why we need an OSV valve. Alright guys, this is an oil safety valve. Come out of your tank through your filter. If you have a copper line that's in contact with the concrete, it's not sleeved. My state, we have to put this OSV valve in. So basically what this does is, the oil pump's got to pull a good vacuum for this thing to open. And for some reason, if the concrete gets rotted in the floor, or it's compromised from be being in contact with the concrete, you won't leak all your oil into the ground. So this is an oil safety valve, OSV valve. Either that or put a, a line sleeve. Sometimes I'll just run overhead, run an oil line overhead. Easy with a Beckett, it's not a problem. You can pull a good vacuum on it, not a problem. Sometimes you have to use those. That's an OSV valve. They got them straight and they got them angle. Alright guys, I put a delayed oil valve on here. Instead of changing the pump, it's going to stay with that single stage pump. I got a delayed oil valve. Um, it's a solenoid valve is all it is basically and I'm gonna put this Carlin Pro Max on here 
and with this control I could set you know um, my delay my pre-purge post purge I could do everything I want with this control so basically um, we got the white wire there tied into the common the red wire there is coming into that live wire that's gonna be um, live all the time for the post purge so the black is the power coming in from the limit that's gonna shut the burner off the blue is the transformer the purple is the solenoid valve and the orange is the burner motor you know and obviously all the um, the neutrals get tied together so let me button this thing up tie in the, the CAD cell and let's fire this baby up okay so this one you can set whatever you want you can set um, you can set your delay 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever you want. So this one gets powered up all the time. And then as a the limit comes on. Because this one's got a pre-purge and a post-purge. Okay, so this one's on standby right now. I already got this one set up for a 45 second delay, I believe. Set up menu. Push them in for two seconds and then release. Okay, blade oil valve. 15 seconds, that's good. No, if I want my flame to shut off at 45 seconds, I could go 30 or 15. I like to run mine at 45 seconds. If it don't sense the flame within 45 seconds, it's going to shut off. Okay. Entered. Motor delay. After the after the um, high limit satisfied, it's going to run for whatever I program this thing for. I'll we'll say 120 seconds. 30 seconds. 120 seconds is good. Early ignition. Early terminations off. Yep, ignition is going to shut off. Yeah, I got the TT jumped out right there, so I got that jumped out. Vent input not used. Allowed recycles. Three allowed recycles for it locks out on hard safety. Baseline reset, no. Factory default, no. To exit. Now let's exit and we'll run this bitch. Pre-ignition, three seconds, delayed oil valve, 15 seconds for delay oil valve, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, Houston we have ignition. Alright, and we shut off. Solenoid valve should shut off. There's still pressure in there, obviously. Now we're in post purge mode. I can set that for whatever I want. I can set that for about 300 seconds if I want. That's a much better setup. Now I got I got other controls. I got a uh, Honeywell over there. I might try playing around with that one too. What's good about this too is it dries the head out. You won't have a lot of carbon on the head. If there is any oil on there, it will dry it up. It's always good to have a post purge.
Um, we got an AA here. For, this is for an alarm. If you wanted to hook up an alarm to it, if this thing ever tripped out on safety, uh, you could hook that up to your alarm and it alert the alarm company that you got no heat. This one is the Colin Pro Max. Post purge mode. Well, I'm going in there to reset. I got the oil delay on 10 seconds. Okay. Um, the flame kick out at 45 seconds if it don't um, come on. Mode of delay. I want to bring that down, say 30 seconds. Motor delay off, post purge. Early termination is off. Flame stabilizes in 15 seconds. Ignition type interrupted. Uh, the jumper, the TT's jumped out. I'm not using that vent output. We'll have recycle store. Baseline reset no. Okay, so I'm gonna exit and we're gonna run it. I got my fan going up there, the door open. I know you guys don't want me to choke to death here. Alright, three ignition, three seconds, one second. Blade oil valve. All right, now you can hear, you can hear the uh, spark still going there. Once this starts up, it's got that 45 seconds to make, which we already made. Once it goes through that, we'll go through and cycle and it will shut off that uh, spark up. stabilized. Okay, we got 11 more seconds and the transformer will, will uh, drop out. You can hear it. You can hear, it. hear that? That's a transformer. Just dropped out. Zero seconds. Flame proven. Alright, then we'll shut off our limit. It's up to limit. Oil is hot. Shuts off. Motor delay. I dropped it down to 30 seconds. I'm in post purge now for 30 seconds to get rid of all the, uh, the fumes up the chimney. Post purge. He dried his head out. And the burner shuts off.